Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta, and today I am finally gonna get around to playing with these gorgeous little gummy bears that I got from BB Craft. I will pop a link to my original unboxing up in the eye so that you can go and check that out along with all the other goodies I got in that haul. But for today, I think I will get some resin out and we'll get some other candy colored treats and see what we can make with these little tiny resin gummy bears. So, I'll get set up and I'll see you in a minute. So for my first job, I've got this um, trinket tray mold that I've not actually used yet. Um, and I've got all of these lovely gummy bears so i'm going to arrange them in here take my hair out the mold gross um, i'm going to arrange them in here and then pour on a coat of clear resin um, the resin that i'm using is a two-part four hour d mold but i'll probably leave it overnight so we will come back to this project after that so for now let's get arranging some gummy bears Okay, peeps, as you see me here mixing up my resin, I'm going to give you a big do as I say, not as I do warning. Please wear gloves when you're working with resin. Um, I had one pair left that I immediately ripped a hole in and carried on regardless. So you will see me throughout this video not wearing gloves and that is bad. Don't do it. Okay, so we're ready to pour now. Um, this is just clear. It does still have a fair amount of bubbles so I'm going to pour quite slowly in the hope that some of those bubbles dissipate I have no idea if these are going to float or if they are going to stay sunk on the bottom, but we will see. Looking pretty good so far. I think most of those bubbles have come out. A little scrapey scrapey inside there out as much as we can and I've got another one ready to go I think for this second one I'm just gonna add the tiniest amount of color a little bit of white pigment give that a little mix you can't see what I'm doing. And just so that we'll get a bit of a variation that doesn't look like nearly enough pigment. Let's try that again. Give that a little shake, shaky, shaky, shaky. Um, this is just bought on Amazon white resin pigment. A little bit of a squirty, squirty. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's go in with this one. Yeah, I like the milkiness. I like that a lot. 
And it seems like two pots of this. So 160 milliliters is going to be enough. We are going to have a few bubbles come up. I can see we've got a few bubbles around the outside. Okay. Tap a tap a tap a. Should I think be okay? Right. Next time you see this one, it'll be all hardened. Okay, so we are back. Um, this is all set. Um, I had some resin left over, so I did a couple of other mini projects. I will go through those with you in a second. But let's start by unmolding this and seeing how it came out. Um, yeah, we'll see. Obviously, this is the first time I'm using this mold. So it'll be a bit of a learning experience, just loosening it around the edges. Move that out of the way for a second. So there we go. I'm really pleased with that. I think that um, the milky swirl in there shows up quite nicely. It gives it kind of a cloudy, nebulous kind of effect. Um, not too much in the way of bubbles, which is nice. Um, got one, two, two little bits at the edge just where I didn't get resin underneath the ears of the bear but as a first attempt I quite like it I'm pleased with it it looks good it would be great for you know, storing your diamond painting pens or yeah scissors whatever it is you've got on your desk and it's just so cheerful I really like it um yeah I, I like the fact that I put them around the edges the little um confetti inclusions have done their job yeah i'm pleased with that so that's the first one so then i had spare left over because i made too much resin and i thought where else can i pour it into so it was a bit of a, a last minute decision but i've got this pot mold which i really rather like um so let's see how it came out i wasn't sure because obviously things are going to sink and okay oh ooh, ooh, ooh. okay 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 i think i'm happy with this oh the struggle is real this is my workout for the day trying to get these out without damaging the um damaging the molds the trick when you get to this stage is to grab and twist and then it comes out nice and easily so oh i like that that's really cool um yeah obviously they have um floated about and stuff so with this one i did clear and then chucked in a bunch of the white on top which you can see has um flowed about and done its thing uh but yeah i'm pleased that it needs a little bit of a tidy up on the bottom obviously i'll probably put a um yeah that's quite sharp <laughs> which will give that a little bit of a sand down um but then that will work lovely as a little pen pot again or you know you can put what you like in there but yeah pleased with that one and then finally oh they look lovely as a set don't they Okay, so let's just. There. 
Very nice indeed. Oh, I'm wishing I hadn't got two pinks next to each other there. Though. <laughs> it's always the way. Okay, finally, um, I thought about some really kitschy kind of jewellery. Let's move it down. And I have these. So these are just the silver solid backed bezels. Um, I popped some resin into them and then put the little bears on top. This one, I chucked too much glitter in really and you can't really see the bear anymore, but it's still a very sparkly design. But these two are very cute. And um, yeah, I think for the right person, they would work really, really well. Um, I'd be tempted to see about getting some of these bezels and chopping off the loop and then making them into cover minders like this. I think that could be fun as well. So these are my creations made with the um, Sunny Clue little gummy bears. Um, they were from BB Craft and the whole set was just five pounds and 17 pence. I will put my link down below as well so that you can get an additional discount on anything that you do decide to order from BB Craft, do go and check them out. I'll also link to my BB Craft playlist. There is so much available from their site. Um, really, the world is your oyster if it comes to creating things. Um, I've made so many different projects already and um, they just keep surprising me with new things available. So do go check them out. Thank you for joining me on this little creations adventure. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you would do with a bag of plastic gummy bears um i definitely want to make a set of earrings as well that's on my list <laughs> so yeah let me know what you think let me know what you would make and until next time stay crafty and of course a massive thanks to all of those of you that support me over on patreon if you'd like to join them there is always a link down below you can also support us by liking sharing subscribing and commenting below or pop on over to Facebook and find us as The Crafty Coven.